After you've finalized your gradebook, go to your course navigation and then scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Send Grades to PeopleSoft. Now just pick which section you want to send to PeopleSoft and click the Final button. Here the current score, current grade, final score, and final grade all appear. If the final grade is an F or an N, the last date of participation box will display. You just need to click on that and then enter the last date the student participated. If the current and final scores don't match, you'll get this warning. The most common reasons these won't match are when a grade item has not been unmuted or an empty grade has not been changed to zero. So to fix this, we can go back to the grade book and then you can see here that there isn't a value entered. So the grade isn't gonna calculate properly. So just enter a score and then you just have to go back to send grades to PeopleSoft and then select the section. And then you can see that there's no red here and no warning. Also, the last date of participation we entered earlier didn't save, so you just need to re-enter that for any students that that might apply to. Now just click on Send Grades to PeopleSoft. And then you'll get a message saying grades were sent successfully to the Faculty Center. Now if you click on the Faculty Center link, it'll open up a new browser tab and you'll be looking at the data in PeopleSoft. So now we're in PeopleSoft and we can see this upload summary where, in my case, three out of three grades were successfully uploaded. Now you can click on Go to Grade Roster. You can check over your student grades one more time to make sure everything's correct. Be sure to take a look at all the pages of your grade roster. You can click through them here on the top right hand corner. You can change a student's final roster grade by clicking on the drop down under roster grade and then selecting a new grade. So once you're satisfied with your final grades, you can change the status of the roster here from not reviewed to approved. And then you'll click save. When you click save, you'll get a message that says grades will be posted to the student's transcripts overnight, and you're all set. If you need to enter grades for multiple PeopleSoft sections within the same Canvas course site, you can just return to this screen, that's the Send Grades to PeopleSoft screen in Canvas, and then select the other section. Then you'll go through the exact same process we just did, but just with that other section.